All right, so welcome back to Level Coding. In today's video, we're going to uh, build this a little project that converts the Markdown into the HTML, as you can see right here. So this is the Markdown, and when when we type in here, it's going to show us on the right side right here. So for this one, we're going to use with the React Markdown and the syntax highlight. Therefore, they highlight our code. So please go ahead and install this two dependency. I'll leave the link in the description. So here is a written tutorial uh, of the, this video, so you can uh, check it out in the in the script. I'll leave the link in the description. All right, so let's start coding. All right, so here I'm using VS Code, so you can use any ticket that you want. So I'm using Create React App. So this is just an uh, empty project that display a uh, hello world. So all right, so now I'm going ahead and delete this one. I'm going to add the text area. So the text area here is we're going to be, be able to create like the like as an editor that we're going to type the our markdown in here. And then we're gonna do some little styling. So I'm gonna call this one as text area. Text area, last name, and then I'm gonna import uh, app.css. App.css. And now we can see it expand right here. So because I already styled this one right here, the text area. Uh, with the width of 50% and the height of 100 bh, we have some padding and a font size for it as well. And I make the apps to display the flex. So for that, I'm going to create a class name for this one equal to apps. All right. So then, next we need to um, get listen for the on the chain of this text area value, and then we put in the React Markdown. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to pass the value is going to be equal input which are not created yet. So then also on chain. So when this one is on change, we can get the event. So we can get set input with e dot target dot value. So right here, dot value. So we can get the value from the event. So now we need to create a state to store this input. So cons input equal to set input equal to use state and, th and then so whenever we type in here it's gonna update the input so now we need to pass the input into the react markdown so the way that we do that is we're going to uh, use the react markdown it's from this dependency that I already told you to install this one right here and then we can put the source for this one so source is equal to input and then we're gonna give the class name of this one is uh, Markdown. Nope, uh, Markdown. Okay, so and then I already styled the Markdown as well. As we can see, it's similar. It's like the width of fifty percent, the highest one hundred bh, and we have some padding and outline none as well. I think we don't need the outline here. Right, we go ahead, and now this is will be our uh, preview, and then this is our editor. So we want us to get the tag area to auto focus. All right, so now if I type something, it's going to show right here. Now, if I go into type the headers, it converted to the markdown. See, it converted into HTML. It's, it's really easy. But there's some problem, not a problem, but it's out of the box, the React markdown here didn't know that it didn't highlight the code for you. If let's say if I want to type the, uh, the code in here, so let's see, I'm going to copy everything that we have in here and put it right here. So it just showed the text. It's not, this is not a code. And, and if one try to display this, it's hard for people to see. So the, to convert this into the highlight code, so we're going to use this one called React Syntax Highlighter. And if we scroll down uh, in here, there's a lot different style for this one. So I'm, I'm interested in this style. So you can try to explore different style right here. But for my, in my case, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to copy this one. And then I'm going to create a component below right here. And then we need to put this one on top because, yeah, it uh, ESL in its yeah letters. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So after you do this, you need to pass the prop for here. So that we need the value and also the uh, the language 
for here and now we can remove this one and yeah pass the value and the language is going to be a language right here and then how do we pass this one so the way that we're going to do is we we in in the react markdown it's there's a prop called renderers and then the way that we do that is we call code and for the code right here we're going to pass the component so just like that, we'd be able to convert the code with the highlight. But there's some problem with this one. If I try to do one, two, three right here, it's going to fail. If we look at the console, we have some a lot of error because when we do like the back to three times, it's going to mean like the code. So, but in here, the value that we pass is null and the language also null as well. So we need to wait, the way that we do that, we need to pass like the options like if it's null, then we're gonna show like this one, and this one if it's null, we're gonna do the null right here. Now if we go back, and now if I type this one, it shows us some highlight right here, and then I can do JS, and then I can copy our entire code and paste it right here. So you can see it's a, a highlight our code right here. And also you can add the image as well. So right now if I do right here, then I can put the image and I can paste. So right now we have this image. So I think that's pretty much it for this uh, video. And I hope you uh, like this video. And if it's helped, don't forget to share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. All right, so see you guys in the next video. Peace.